All right, so here's what we have. We have a Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. We have a chocolate ghost pepper. And these are Carolina Reapers. Notice the ghost pepper, there's only one of them. Yeah, that's the only one that came up. These came up. Now, with the tomatoes, notice the tomatoes growing. Alright, so I have definitely grown a lot more and let them grow, but that's okay. Once I plant them, there's plenty of room for all their roots to grow. There's no need to thin them out. But obviously the tomatoes have done a lot better. Alright, so in this one and this one. The first two rows. That's a Cherokee purple tomato. Clearly that one's growing a lot better than all the others. And then I have Giant Delicious for the next two. And it's kind of varied. There's some big ones and small ones. Oh yeah, by the way, um, this one here, I don't know what that is. I'm going to probably guess it's a, it's a purple tomato. But it came up in the middle of a Carolina Reaper that nothing else came out of. But it actually grew from roots through through that so that's why I'm guessing it's a purple tomato and then we have the ones that are all short here however last year I grew these those are boxcar willy and they make huge giant tomatoes and they grow really big and yeah I made three rows of them. Each row is five of these things here. I mean, there's five of those in each one. But my hot peppers, obviously just having one of them, that that's obviously enough. But going back to the peppers, I've been putting them all these plants obviously you can see it's all in the same thing I've been taking them in and out to acclimate them to the weather and to the sunlight but this is why I mean you see that see that white yes there's white there's even that white underneath the other leaf don't understand it That's sunburn. Yes, plants actually can get some sunburn. And when you're growing them indoors, like I'm doing now, you have to actually take them out there and... There's another sunburn. And another sunburn. But... You know, none of my tomatoes had a problem with it. But you have to slowly take the plants out to the outdoors and get used to the sunlight. Because it is a lot brighter than these things. No matter how bright these things are. But I guess I kind of did a bad job. But I have to show you something here. Look at this thing. Now, I received this for a Christmas present from Mark and Robin. And for some reason, this is growing like crazy. And I even put it outdoors. Look, there's no sunburn. 
But yeah, so you have to put the plants outdoors little by little, and I've been doing that. I guess I overexposed it because I thought that since clouds were outside, that that would be okay to leave it out there for two days straight, but not yet. But I give up. I'm planting these outdoors and hopefully tomorrow. I actually planned on planting them today, but I didn't plan on all the rain today. A good day to plant them would have been yesterday, so they could have been rained on all day today. But I didn't really know it was going to be all day rain today. But yeah, this is this is really cool here. And now I'm going to have to figure out how to get it out of this little can. But I'll do it. Also, in my garden, I have already planted seeds. And most of them have already come up, too. Planted them this week. I planted cucumbers, zucchini, and I have planted turnips, carrots, and parsnips. So, I'm about ready to go. Once I get these in the ground outside, and they're going to take off like crazy. <laughs>